Where am I? Am I dreaming? What is this place with colorful bright life everywhere? I feel peace, free. I feel weightless. My mind is clear. I know I am truly at home. Gentle creatures swimming gracefully in clear, warm water. Giant clams. Healthy creatures everywhere. I believed that those things only existed in dreams, but no, they are here with me, dancing right in front of me. I wish I could stay down here forever, but alas, I must return, for I am still human. We are not your average tourists. We crave real adventure. We like to feel that we are pioneers exploring new frontiers. But it's not always easy. This is the sacred land of Sakalava. Legend has it that at the dawn of time, the gods had sent five brothers to this place. One of them, who could not get along with the others, decided one day to leave and the brother who was closest to him began to die of grief. The one who has gone so far away forgot his faith. The solitude succeeded rather well. We arrived to the beautiful islands of the Indian Ocean, bringing even trees with us, rice and all kinds of supplies. In the coast, there's nobody but us, only peace. But it's not the quiet island life that brought us here. We are more interested in the life out there, far away in the sea. Life is amazing, and the first fish start to come.
Maras, Trevallis, all kinds of fish start to show up. But there's one in particular that we never caught. A mysterious fish, shy, powerful, clever, the ghost of the reef. We start seeing them more and more, and they become our biggest desire. If you are like most spear fishermen, dogtooth tuna is high on your list. Doggies, however, are pretty hard to find, harder to shoot, and still harder to land. We didn't get any here, but of course, we caught some price fish. No matter how slow you may potter along the rambling pathways, it still feels as if you are rushing compared to the rhythm of local life. Simple, peaceful, and yet full of smiles. The time has stopped here. No rushing, just relaxing, no watches. You can breathe and you can actually live life. If somebody were to drop you in Madagascar with no previous advice, you would definitely feel like you are on a different planet. Chameleons the size of a nail, alien worms, parasite plants in the logs, and complicated roots turn the rainforest into a labyrinth. strange looking at me in the shadows. I can feel it. There is not only one. Everything is strange here. But these things don't want to be noticed. They see you, but you do not see them. 
Like any other, from the white sandy beaches to the darkest of the forests. The secrets of the spirits dwell in the silence of nature. You must be quiet, patient. Nature will show you the magnificence of life. This is the true treasure here. The energy of this place is so high that those who feel it, they will come back again and again. It's a strong energy that remains in each and every corner of this country, forgotten in time. We return to our beloved place to fulfill our souls and to remind ourselves of what we are made of. Watching the kids playing in the waterfall, we start to forget about the stress. Nothing else matters now. We are here. We are fully conscious. Bruno, Fred and I gaze upon the ocean. We start thinking of getting into it. We need to synchronize our minds. And the best way to do that is by diving deep and meeting some of our old friends we left behind. Those turtles and the fish feeding at his side live here. They are the owners of this place. They have to accept us before we can move into their realm. We are ready. We must get into that ocean. Serge again, along with Lolo and Baker, people in love with the ocean that like to share their experiences. We really appreciate them. For the first contact, 
it was not bad at all. We just warm up in the nearby waters. But we are here for more. And this here for more means Castor Bank. This remote reef stands about 70 kilometers northwest, and it really awakens our primitive instincts. The things you can find here are unlike anywhere else. During the long journey here, we had plenty of time to tell stories and to ignite our imaginations. Time to get ready, put on your gear and focus. We are about to dive in one of the best spots in the world. The first dive starts the day. This time, Christoph and Fredo join us. And when good friends are in the right place, amazing things start to happen. start to come out from everywhere, but as usual, keeping distance with us and being elusive. But this opportunity never seems to arise. The long way back gives us plenty of time to learn from the mistakes and talk about the next time. After another day, it seems that heaven must wait one more time. The Great South, the Promised Land. That's where we're heading off to now. A remote place on the mainland where nobody goes. That feeling of adventure overwhelms us with anticipation again. Awesome things will happen to us for sure there. We found the lost brother, Asakalava.
In a way, our arrival to the coastal town is a big event. We are there to take some supplies and food before heading further. Finally, we have arrived. An Analava, a place lost in time. A quiet morning welcomes us to this forgotten place. No electricity, no cars, just peace and calm seas. We wasted no time. We headed out to the drop-off point to experience one of the best days of spear fishing in our lives. King mackerels, coral trouts, trevallies, mice. We even saw a few marlins swimming free. Although we are not able to shoot them, we were still filled with joy. But something has been evading us. There is still something left to do. The mighty doggies are still out of our reach. I'm the greatest. Who am I? I'm so flagrant. Ah, the doggies. They're always there. No way to land a decent one if the sharks don't get to them first. They break us off against the reef, or they're just simply out of reach. It starts to seem impossible to catch them in this place of the world, but we are never going to give up hope. It's not about being sad. We are grateful to see these amazing creatures. But sometimes it's better just to sit back and relax. Things will happen on their own accord. And suddenly, 
One day, we meet David. We found the magic we need to fulfill our dreams. Things just come at the right time. It's happening now. We have to enjoy these moments. That's what life is all about. <laughs> 